everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm back with the Nvidia Jetson Nano. I'm going to show you a bit more of the desktop experience with the Nano. So I'm going to show you the YouTube playback with different browsers. I'm gonna show you what the effect is of working at 4K versus 1440p. I'm gonna do some image editing with GIMP. I'm gonna do some video editing with Caden Live. I'm also gonna do some editing with Blender and also rendering with Blender. This is where this board really shines. So let's start with the video playback in Chromium. So of course Chromium is hardware accelerated, so video playback must be rather good. So when we watch a 1080p video in 30 frames, then it plays almost perfect. Hello everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm back with a new single board computer. It's the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. So I have gotten this from Antrotec. Antrotec is a seller of electronics and they also sell a lot of SBCs. So for example the NVIDIA Jetson Nano, but also the Nano Pies or the old Roids for example. So they sell in the Benelux, so Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg. But when we go higher to 1440p, then it starts to stutter. And there are also a lot of dropped frames. Then certainly buy at Antrotec, because when you buy from outside of the EU, it happens a lot that you have to pay income taxes, so it is best to buy it from inside of Europe. Some 1440p videos do work, like those from Linus Tech Tips. Their 1440 is actually 1280 because it is for a wider screen, but that makes it that we can watch these videos in 1440p. All that power that your thousand watt power supply is sucking up has to come from somewhere. And, and unless you're on solar, wind or hydro, chances are it's fossil fuels. So then what's an environmentally conscious gamer to do? Well, <laughs> Sponsoring this video, we're going to be taking a step back. But normal 1440p videos don't work. They stop and buffer a lot. This is the same with 1080p 60 frames per second. For that we need to go to 720p 60 frames and then it plays okay. That Sven sent me all the way from Germany. I showed off the PCBs he sent me in mail call number one. The first of such videos I've made. So if you haven't watched that, Panasonic Lumix G. G9 camera, I think called the G95 in other international regions, and I'm also shooting with some new lights for my basement, so hopefully this sounds and looks better than it was with my old camera, and of course, hopefully, and I don't know yet because I haven't used this camera much, no more crashing. For playing video files, VLC doesn't seem to work. When you try to open a video file, it just crashes. But there are other players that work a lot better. Like MPV for example, this can play up to 1440p videos, but no 4K. If you see some screen tearing in the middle of the screen, that's because of my capture device. My capture device can only capture up to 1080p 30 frames. So because of that it takes away some frames and that makes it look worse. Here one of my own videos in 1440p 30 frames, so this plays perfect. This has got great single core performance, but it also has got great multi core performance. One other problem that this has, it does need a good heatsink and a fan. The best experience I had was with SM player, when you put the output driver to VDPOW, then 4K 30 frames almost worked perfect. But it is just not yet there. So as I've already told you in the last video, for 4K video playback we need the NVGST player. So for that you just open a terminal. You type NVGST player dash I and then the file name.
You can auto hide your taskbars so they won't be in the way. Just 50 years ago, we finally ventured to the moon. Something else I already showed you last time was Jetson clocks. With this we put the clocks of the GPU and CPU to their highest points. This improves the performance of many programs. So it is best to set this if you want a faster reaction time and a better experience. Now a bit of image editing with GIMP. Of course this board works ok with GIMP. Every SBC does well with GIMP. But this isn't the fastest one of course. The older versions of GIMP don't make use of many cores. So the single core performance of this version is very important. With the newer versions this has been improved a lot. But for that you need a newer distro. Or you need to compile GIMP yourself. <laughs> to Blender, so modeling in Blender is the smoothest I've ever seen on an SBC. It's better than the Odroid N2 or the Kadas Vim 3. This is because it uses the GPU of course. And there is something very important that Jetson Nano can do which no other SBC can do. So if we go to user preferences, there to system, then you see here cycles compute device. So here we can choose CUDA. So with this it can use the GPU to render an image. And like this it can even render two images at the same time. So like here I am rendering a part of the ambient image with the GPU. Then I open Blender again and I render the Nico D Blender render with the CPU. So both the GPU and the CPU are working great. For the fastest render times it is best to minimalize the window of Blender. That can shave off a few minutes of your renders. So this is really an awesome board for lightweight Blender tasks. Even the heavier projects it can handle with ease. But of course it will not render as fast as a brand new PC. But you have to count in that it uses a lot less power. So the performance per watt is probably a lot better than from the latest x86 CPUs. But then again the Kadas Vim 3 is even a lot more power efficient for this. Now to show the difference in memory usage in 4K versus 1440p. So I will open a few Chromium tabs and you will quickly see the RAM usage rise. 
So here I am in 4K and I've got about 7 tabs open in Chromium and I was out of memory. I was also recording with Kazam. Also Kazam stopped working because of it. If we now do the same in 1440p with all the same tabs in Chromium open. Then we can open a lot more tabs. So now we can open 14 tabs until we get out of memory. So that's almost double of in 4K. So for me working in 1440p on it is very good. But working in 4K looks very good but it isn't very useful. Of course this board isn't made for desktop use. But as you can see you can use it for that task. For my many email accounts I use Thunderbird on Linux. It isn't set up here because this isn't my main desktop SBC. That's my NanoPi M4 version 2 for now. And another tip I can give you. Vivaldi browser. You can download that for ARM64. I have shown this in earlier videos too. This plays a little bit better video, 1440p is watchable with it, it doesn't stutter as much, but there are still dropped frames. And now some video editing with Kaden Live. So for that the Jetson Nano isn't very good for the moment. The preview lags very much. It isn't very workable to edit videos. But it does work. Video editing is done mostly on CPUs. And for that you need good multi-core performance and also good single core performance. So this board doesn't have one of those. Here it should just continue playing but it lags a lot because there's an effect used. So I'm just making a one minute project and I am rendering this. So as you see it is possible to do video editing with it but best to use video files of 720p and certainly not higher than 1080p or else you're gonna have a very bad editing experience. If you want to work with a webcam you can use vocal screen or GUVC view. But about working with cameras and the Nvidia Jetson Nano I will make other videos where I use the software that is meant for it. So that's it for today. I wasn't so happy about my review video about the Nvidia Jetson Nano. So I wanted to make something more to show the desktop performance also. Normally I always show a lot more about that in my review videos. It isn't the best desktop experience with an SBC. For me I like the NanoPi M4 a bit better just because it has got more CPU power but it still lacks in GPU drivers. So the Jetson Nano is more versatile. If you need good GPU drivers then the Jetson Nano is something for you. Or if you really like to play games and want to have a lightweight desktop environment then this also can be for you. Again this board isn't made to be used like this. But I always use things my own way, so I don't care about why they make something, I just care about what I can do with it. So next video will be about gaming on the Nvidia Jetson Nano. And then later on I will make videos about neural networks and object recognition. So thank you all for watching, please subscribe to my channel, like my video, see you all later, bye!